Alrighty, so we're going to start stripping the motor. So the first thing we're going to do is start um, taking all the electrical stuff off, all the coils, the plug leads, and all the wiring harness. Get started on that. get the rest of the wire harness out of the way once we get the extractors out because we're just going to get the starter motor and that out with it. So um, saying that we'll get the dip tube out and pull the extractors off. Right, so the motor's getting a bit bare now, so we can see more of what I was talking about with those oil leaks. Water pumps off the front now. Valley plate. You can see how much stuff gets into these ports under the manifold. So we'll keep stripping away. Right, so an interesting thing to note is on all these L98 motors, when you pull off the cover on the, the driver's side, you can see it's not too dirty in there. But if you have a look at the other side, you'd think it's a whole different engine. So you look at the discoloration and the staining on these rockers compared to the other side. And the only difference is that on the driver's side, or the right hand side, you have a breather. And on the other side, it's actually capped off and it runs off the valley plate. Now, on a L98, uh, L77, L76 motor with the AFM, it doesn't actually have a breather here, it uses that back port and you don't see this issue. So, so yeah, just something a bit interesting. It's a difference.
So we've pulled out the lifters and the good news is that none of them have actually chewed out the cam from what I can see at this point and there's not going to be any metal anywhere which minimises the damage so when these lifters fail you can end up with ticking lifters and that's when inside of it sort of fails and after that happens that's when it can start damage, damaging these rollers and the bearings and when that happens that's when it can cause a lot more damage and um, can end up being very expensive so luckily it looks like this it's going to be fairly straightforward rebuild. We'll still measure everything and check it all. But hopefully there isn't any um, surprises in the bottom.